Hello my friends, welcome to JITCAT. Today we have a special project, it's uh, backlash, zero backlash or anti-backlash in gears. It's very important and we use it in a special and in high precision project mechanism. Okay, I explain it a little bit more. Uh, you can search it in Wikipedia, but here I describe it. It's about uh, two years of engagement. We have a little backlash. It means we have a little uh, clearance or distance. It causes your system make noisy or we have a little motion. But when you use in a high precision mechanism, for example, you use a encoder in your system, you should use a backlash. It means it's lock your two gears or engagement. And we, uh, we don't have any moving um, about each other gears. And we say it in backlash. Backlash has a simple system in solid board you can see it we have a two gear okay we have a two gear between the each gear we have a spearing in both side uh, when uh, one of them is rotates another we can against this rotation and uh, it, it means it fills your distance between another gear is here for example and it's a shaft you can coupling to your shaft uh, to your axle and it's very simple let's go to modeling the zero backlash or anti backlash is Okay, the first part is the male shaft. Uh, I said we project contains five components, two gears, and two spring and one uh, male shaft. I want to start it with these components. Let's go to the SolidWorks sketch on the right plane. I want to use the rotation, the revolving feature. Uh, let's to draw it, this sketch. This line is 2.64. The unit is millimeter gram second. Uh, seventy nine. Here is six point twenty nine and about the diameter here we have 1.58 this diameter is 2.77 and about below we have this line about the central line is 3.96 okay. here it's 9.72 okay let's check it has one free I pan it and we can use the vertical relation. Okay. 
go to the feature user revolving boss space is automatically use uh, axis and your profile control the chamfer here and here it's about uh, 0 0.1 okay I forgot another uh, H is here Okay, right click, go to the material, edit material, and use two, three, zero, four is a kind of alloy. Okay, go to the whole wizard, and change the item legacy hole, and the type is simple drilled and change the two blinds change the diameter to 1.07 depth is 1.19 and the drill angle is 135 degrees go to the position choose the 3d sketch for example here normal to view and okay let's uh, use it from here. Okay, you can clean or delete it. Change the center line here. But you should confident about your center line is correct. Okay. Okay, it says it's located. And H again. It's fork. Go to the chamfer, use a 0 0.1 value. Okay. The second component is finished. And let's go to a sort. The third component is a sprue gear. Okay, start to modeling a sprue gear. Create a circle. It's about 25.77 in 2. Uh, okay, exit. Pattern it to 1.32. Okay, again, sketch. But it should better to escape in front play. It's it blend between our circle. Uh, create a circle. Diameter is twenty five. Sorry, twenty six point ninety nine. Two. Okay. Convert entities. The first circle uses split line, but before that, create a center line. Okay. Use a split line. Uh, mirror this split line about the center line. This distance in two point we have zero point forty three. 
here to here is 1.24 and also it's 1.3 and this point about the origin have a height but 21.91 okay it's fully defined uh, Let's cut the uh, tree. The outer circle also. Uh, we can cut about. Okay, exits. After that, I want to pattern circular pattern. It should be width plane, and the thickness is true. Okay. Let's go to the circular pattern about the feature. The last feature is here, and the circle is that about look 90 stands. Okay. Yeah, about the teeth. Okay, we have uh, two slots. The center distance is 6.47. The radius is 2.19. About the origin, we have the height is 14.42. And here about the X about the X axis we have a four point three. I can cut it through all mirror it. About this plane, the feature is end of our design treats cut ex cut exit. Okay, we have another hole for our shaft. We have four point three. It's again through all cutting. Okay, go to hole wizard. Select the simple hole, standard and C metric, and the type is screw clearance, size is M4. Uh, about the sizing, it's a diameter 4.38, and about the angle, only is 180 degrees. Uh, about the end condition or depths, we have a 0 0.66. Okay, go to the 3D sketch. Select here. And again this point coincidence okay it's not important select the hole the diameter is 0 0.9 0 0.9 here again with a circle opposite side, zero point no, you can make the relation equal with this circle. This short. Okay, select the center line. 
vertical or horizontal sorry it's about one millimeters here again center line it should be horizontal and the distance is one millimeter go to the extrude cut and through all cut it okay we need here to make it fillets we remove all sharp edge Also can change zero point five because we have a end mill this size. What about the zero point one? It's hard to round this edge. Okay, our sprue is ready. The third part is a spring, I insert it in STP and I don't want to model it because you can uh, use the standard STP in websites and I show you what's about the heights and pitch and revolution. Okay, let's go to the assembly. Okay, it's about the spring. I uh, note the properties of spring here. The height is 10 millimeters, revolution 13, coil diameter. I mean, is spring diameter is one millimeters, and inner diameter is 3.2. About the height, I mean from the above the this arc of spring till here it's the total free heights of spearing here you can search it in your uh, in website and uh, it doesn't matter to modeling in your solidworks because you can found a steep of spearing okay go to assembly and make them gather and to final assembly Time to assembly. Go to the assembly. Insert the screw. Again, insert another screw. Oh, it should rotate. Okay, make a pointed end. This face and this face and should be concentric made all 12 spear here and make this face and this face coincident okay insert a here shaft flip it again I press the escape key and it disappeared. Okay, concentric with the inner hole and should be this face and this face stick. Okay, again, make okay, this hole and this hole concentric. Okay, at last. Insert the spearing, pin the spearing because we want to number club it. Uh, lost it. Okay. Select the top of the spearing, it's the earring. You can make a mate with here, should be tangents 
also here to here can be tangent and uh, about the plan of spewing okay it's the remain of last year uh, we can select it this way this this should be coincidence also you can delete this aspiring you can mirror our uh, this spring with all mates go to the mirror components he wants to mirror about the watch play it should be okay let's go to the shaft Yeah, and what's component is our experience. You can preview one select. Okay. Here, this is our zero backlash or anti backlash here. Uh, sprue gear. I told you it's using high precision that we don't have any moving lease under for example 0 0.1 millimeter motion in mechanism because we want to use for example encoder each rotation each angle uh, we need to high precision in our mechanism okay i hope uh, enjoy it uh, if you have a question, you can comment it in video below. Subscribe to the channel and thank you very much till next project.